Rapper Wale is red hot right now and he has a grueling work schedule to match. We caught up with the MMG star in the studio for an exclusive sneak peek as he laid down a brand new freestyle and spoke candidly with us about his career. Well wishes to my opposition. You just probably cop a plea before you cop a pistol. I got nothing against them. They got fucking potential. But so Wale, you just dropped the ambition video. Pretty hot video. And uh, also, you know, a very important message that you're sending. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's easy to get like get confused and like with the with the with, with the mis my message is about if you follow on the wrong part of our, the brand. Um the foundation of maybe I just work ethic. I'm going on three hours of sleep now. Like, if I don't go squeeze in a studio session like between like photo shoots or something like that, no new music will get done. Yeah. That's why a lot of times when rappers get successful, you hear less and less music. If anybody knew how hard it was to maintain an uh, underground presence of like free music nonstop, always being viral, like, and at the same time be mainstream and have to do interviews and press and cameos and features, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really, really, it's like, if. Yeah, some of y'all rappers see my schedule. <laughs> they gonna love me for my ambition. Easy to dream a dream, but what's harder to live? Now, one of the lines in the chorus, you say, easy to dream a dream, but it's harder to live it. Mm -hmm. Now, that could really mean two things. Either it's, it's hard to achieve your dream, or once you do achieve it, it's hard to live your dream as well. What did you mean by that? Both. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. And it's just kind of like, okay, what do you do when you're not the underdog anymore? And they love you when you're struggling, you got the struggle raps, you got the pain, and you rapping first person about your personal. When they start to see a little success, they don't relate to you as well. You working harder than you've ever worked to get out of the struggle. I mean, I just know what it feels like to be at the bottom. I represent the dude that, that grinded and got a record deal twice over, you know? The, one, the, the dude that's outside passing the CD around trying to get, I'm him twice. <laughs> yeah, sats all in my arm. Smoke one sack, scrape in my dome. Pay my haze and not too much mine. Pay your favorite strip for card no. I mean, your, your schedule is crazy. You know, you performed very late last night. You've been in the studio all day. You're doing interviews, photo shoots. Are you enjoying this? Uh, I don't know anymore. Really? Mm -mm. Because, like, you know, I'm sure the people who dream of, like, when they're shooting hoops when they're little, I don't, I'm sure they don't think about getting traded and getting traded again and going to the D League and coming back to the NBA and negotiating new contracts. Mm. They don't think about all that. The they, think about, they think about winning the championship or losing the championship or being in the championship game or being in front of millions of people and doing what they love. So, you know, sometimes you got to take a second to enjoy it. It's like building a house. Hard as hell to build a house. It's crazy blood, sweat, and tears when it's done. Kick your feet up, smoke a cigar by the fireplace. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still building out. Stay from Bakehead. When your statement's amazing, there ain't no way you gonna wait for relations. I'm mashing out, put the bottles out, bring the glasses out. That's all I got right now. I got right the rest. <laughs>